Welcome again to LearnScience.com. This is lesson number seven. Lesson number seven. Fingerspelling practice. When you practice your fingerspelling, you're going to find that there are certain letter combinations that go together. And you'll see them often, over and over again. In this lesson, I'm going to fingerspell some words for you, and then I'm going to have you fingerspell some words for me for practice, and you'll see that these combinations come up regularly. Now, this is just a small sample of the many thousands of words that you could spell, and there's lots of different consonant blends and uh, tri-letter combinations, four-letter combinations, uh, so th these are just a small sample of that, but we're going to practice some of these signs. I'll sign, I'll, I'll finger spell a couple of them, and then you figure out what the word is, and then I'll tell you afterwards. Now remember, when you finger spell, you want to keep your palm facing the person to whom you're speaking. So you keep your palm out for the most part. There are a couple of letters where your palm would turn in, but for the most part, your palm's going to be out. You want to keep your hand still. You don't want to bounce. Keep your hand still. Now there are some letter combinations that will slide or there'll be a slight, a slight bounce with the fingers, but it's not going to be a bouncing of the hand either in and out or up and down to the side. And then you want to spell with a smooth rhythm. You don't want to pause right in the middle of a word. Now remember to help your thinking, you want to spell words as whole words. So try to spell the, the word as a word, not as individual letters. All right, so here's the first word. Again. Blab, blab. Did you get that? Blab. All right, the next one, another BL combination. Whoops, I misspelled that. There you go. Black. Black. Okay, another one. This is a BR combination. Brad. Brad. Another BR combination. There it is again. Brave. Brave. Many words end with the letter E, uh, so you'll get used to that. Another one, a CH combination. Chain. Chain. Remember, try to, try to read it as a whole word as well. Another CH combination. chair. Now I know these may look fast to you, but the more you practice your spelling, the easier this will become. And these really aren't that fast. You'll see a lot faster spelling as you go along. Okay, let me give you a word and you spell it for me. Obviously I can't see you, so you'll have to, I'll, I'll have to trust you on this one. I think I can do that. Clam. Clam. Now think Clam, the word, not C-L-A-M, clam, all right, and it's clam. Another one, class, class, the children go to class. Now we have a double letter here. We can slide that S, the double S, or you can do it like this, class, and do a little, a little finger wiggle there. Again, not a bounce with your hand or up and down. It's just a slight slight little bounce with your fingers if, if you want to think of it as a bounce. Or you can slide it across. Some letters slide better than, than they do the, the opening of the hand. You'll just have to get a feel for that. Flag. Flag. You're spelling this for me. Flag. All right. Flag, flag, place, place, 
put the book in its place. Place. Notice how the palm stays out as much as possible, the hand doesn't bounce, and you spell smoothly. Place. Okay, here's another word for you. What is this? Plate. Plate. Another word? There's a, a double letter there. I think I spelled glass the second time, and it's supposed to be grass. Grass. Another GR combination. Grid. Now, these, le these words come from a list that I found online that has a bunch of constant blends. And uh, so I'll have a link to that in the show notes of LearnScience.com slash seven, and that'll show you where these these words came from. It's a big old long list of words that you can practice, good good practice words, because they do have a lot of common letter combinations, and that'll help you. All right? That was a little bit faster. It was a three letter combination that you'll see common. Shrank. S-H-R, shrank. Another one with that combination. Shrill, shrill. And then another common S combination is S-P-R. Spray, spray. And then another one. Spring, spring. Now, also that you're going to have uh, four-letter combinations. You're going to see combinations a lot. And the more words you practice, the more you you try to spell different words, you'll start to see those combinations, and they'll get to be where they're very easy to do. Uh, so don't let finger spelling scare you. Here's another combination, the four-letter combination, T-I-O-N. Did you get that? Sound it out as it goes along. Education. 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 One of my favorite words to spell here. Did you get it? Dictionary. Dictionary. Another one. I'm having trouble saying these without moving my lips. I want to move my lips to do it because I, I say the word as I do it. But that tells you what the word is. Oops, I got messed up. Absolution. All right, so practice your finger spelling. This is LearnSigns.com slash seven, slash seven, we'll get you to this lesson. It'll have the list of these words on there, plus there's a link to the, the larger list where these words came from, and you can practice through that list of words. LearnSigns.com slash seven. Thank you for watching. Keep practicing your fingerspelling, and then we'll get back to more vocabulary words in the next lesson.